Hi, uh, at the beginning of October, I uploaded a video in which I looked at a, a painting challenge where I painted up 50 orc boys over the course of a weekend. In order to get that up on YouTube for the start of October, of course, I had to paint those boys in September. However, I would not want anyone to think that I've been neglecting my duties in October itself. And today I just thought I'd do a bit of an extra video showing you what I painted up during this most important of months. And I'm going to start here with the Prophet of the Warg himself, Gazgul Thraka, his latest incarnation. Uh, previously I did have the lead one that was re uh, released in Mega Armor, I think about 4th edition. Um, of course he was a lot smaller than this. Now, this figure was originally released in a box set, I believe, but I didn't get him in that set with all the other figures. I just got the dedicated Gazgul Thraka box. Uh, so I've probably had him lying around for a couple of months, assembled and waiting to be painted. Uh, now, on the other hand, Captain Badrook and his flash gets here. Uh, these I did get in a special box set. You got Bad Rook and two squads of Flash Gits, along with some treasure carrying grots. Um, and that's a number of years ago now, I think. Uh, they've been sat in a box waiting to be painted. Um, and the, the grots still aren't painted. But I finally have some decent Flash Gits that I can field. I was also fortunate enough to get the Beast Snagger box set when that came out, although I did have to get it from my local games workshop. I missed out on Larting and I certainly wasn't going to pay the scalpers prices. Fortunately, Games Workshop Manchester had quite a number of the set in and I got that early on the release day. So that gave me uh, Zogrod Wart Snagger. I'm just focusing on him. Gave me a couple of units of Beast Snagger boys. And then it gave me some squeak hog riders and a boss on a smasher squig. You'll notice I've got two of those squads here. And that is because when I came to paint up this figure here, I was I put the undercoat on. I was partly through painting it and I found out this bit was missing. It had fallen off and I couldn't find it anywhere. I had started painting, so it was a bit late to do a conversion. So I had to buy another set to get a replacement piece that I could glue on. And the equivalent figure in that one, I was able to convert as I assembled it. And I have also added a beast boss and a pain boss with his little assistant. Another box set that I got was the new uh, Kill Team set uh, with its plastic Death Core of Krieg and the new plastic Orc Commandos. And so here you see the Commandos along with one extra figure that I converted using some of the spare parts from that set. I used a, a head, weapon arms and a backpack and glued them onto a regular Orc boy torso and legs to give myself an additional commando. Uh, these aren't the only blood axes I've painted though this month because it occurred to me that uh, an orc war boss who encounters the Imperium a lot may just start dressing in very Imperial style and so I acquired a Ogryn, an Ogryn sprue and I converted this war boss simply by sticking orc arms and head and some equipment to the back of an Ogryn torso and legs. And I've even given him his own personal banner waiver, the Commissar. And for this, I simply took a plastic Gretchen. And this hat actually comes from the speaker on the same Ogryn sprue that I used to make my war boss. It's not all figures from box sets that I've had lying around waiting to be painted in my pile of shame for many, many weeks or months or even years. Um, there are some regular orcs as well. So I've painted up these 16 shooter boys and three rocket launcher boys to support them. And uh, an orc mech, which I had been planning on making an artillery captain for a converted artillery piece many years ago. And that's one of those projects that just never got made. Uh, and in addition to boys, I've also done some 
orc knobs. Uh, I've got some from the uh, box set of multi-part figures and some that come from the Assault on Black Reach set. Of course, with knobs, I've also got all these ammo runts. In addition to those, I've got uh, this special, the limited edition figure from uh, last Christmas. He is Gorgaz Git Stomper with his assistant Nickit. Uh, and then I've got some uh, cyborgs at the back. These are made just from the multi-part knobs in, in the box set and I just made sure they had plenty of cybernetic enhancements. I've had those a very long time. Um, I'm not sure how the rules work for these off the top of my head now. I think really they're just regular orc knobs. Uh, it used to be you added a pain boy to the squad and they got something of a bonus. Uh, another slight conversion I have is this set of 10 orc knobs with some very stylish headwear. And these heads are Cromlech heads, they're resin, uh, so it's third party heads, I wouldn't be able to use these officially anymore. Um, and I originally bought these intending to use them for Mad Boys, but the scale of them when they turned up, I thought they looked a bit big to go on regular old boys, so I put them on knobs instead. It's not just infantry I painted this October though. You can see here I've also done some vehicle models. Uh, and I'll start off with this model here. This is a Runtbot. Uh, I think it was a, a game, Games Day figure. Uh, I didn't go to Games Day. I, I got this off eBay instead. Uh, I saw an example of it in my local games workshop and decided that I just had to try and find one. And then I also have a trio of killer cans. I'm not sure when I got these. I had completely forgotten I had them um, until I came across them in a box. They were assembled and just waiting to be painted. And I thought now was the suitable time to do it. And I now have these two boogies as well. These came from the Speed Freaks game. Um, the six war bikers that came in that box set um, are still on the sprue. Uh, these were on the sprue until a couple of months ago, maybe. Um, then I, I finally assembled them. Um, but then they sat in a box waiting to be painted until I got round to my uh, October painting binge. Moving on, I have a Wasbon Dakajet. Um, this I bought when it first came out um, and it's stayed in the box since then. Um, according to the copyright on the instructions, I had this for six years before I even took the cellophane off the box. And finally, I have four battle wagons. All of these came off eBay. Three of them um, I came together when I was just looking for some track sections. Uh, I couldn't find individual track sections, so I had to get complete battle wagons. And somebody had three of them at a very good price, and I decided to buy all three. These were brand new on the sprue. So I was able to use the tracks for another model, which is why that one. And that one instead have all wheels. This one still has its tracks and I did actually buy the expansion sprue. These all pre getting that sprue with the uh, battle wagon kit itself. And lastly, there is this battle wagon. Uh, this one was used. Um, somebody else had assembled it. They'd painted it and they hadn't done either of them very well. Um, I was able to recover it. And I think it's come out quite well, actually. I like the, the way the colour scheme has come out, the sort of plain metal scheme. Uh, in fact, I painted this up before. I then did the killer cans in the same way. And I think I may do future orc vehicles in this fashion as well, rather than necessarily goths, death schools, evil sons, and so forth. Um, well, that gets to the end of what I did this month. Um, it would clear, I think, uh, 80 or 90% of my pile of shame 
of my sort of current generation of models. I've got some very old figures that aren't painted, second edition Gorka Morka um, versions. But this would have cleared most of it, yeah. would have, if I hadn't just bought about 80 and 90 extra orcs uh, in a job lot off eBay and put myself right back where I started from. So uh, that's perhaps a project for next October, because I'm going to do something different next month. Just wondering if Necrovember thing is a thing.